day two in Chengdu today uh, suit up because there is another conference uh, happening which is kind of a uh, quite high class conference let's say there are going to be some government people and uh, it's great so far Chengdu has been treating us well and we are doing some business development for Startup Brand we are making connections making friends and many other things are happening so so far it has been very exciting <music> We work with people or with entrepreneurs that are very, very early. They don't even have companies, maybe. They are just thinking about starting a startup. And maybe they're just students, right? So if you want to create, or that's my kind of thinking, of course, it doesn't have to be you know, in the right way. But if you want to if you want to create uh, innovation culture, let's say, within this community, I think you need to start with inspiration, you know? Because that's why we invite people like Steve, because he has so much energy. You know, and he's so passionate about what he does that when, let's say, one or two people in the room can, can get something out of it and get inspired to build something or to do more with their lives, I think that's, uh, that's amazing. So I talked to Christine a little bit and she wants to have another meeting because uh, she's apparently one of us. She's like really cool community community person and so yeah, yeah, yeah. we are really gonna be I I wanna talk to her like first thing is the conference and I wanna I wanna keep you in the loop because like you're gonna be you're gonna be behind us, so just tell me what's the best way to to kind of streamline the the conversation. Uh, we're gonna arrange it with the assistant. Okay, yeah. got it. And uh, she actually said that maybe we are going to meet tomorrow because she would like to meet about like how I can help her even outside of Chengdu and you know in the US and stuff like that. But she was very excited about startup right in general and I told her that we are trying to expand in China. Yeah. We are trying to open different cities and of course get, get some partners on board and so she's going to try to help us. So I'm going to talk to her about that. So guys, really, really good job. She asked you like, what do you do? And you told well, her- Well, like, she asked me in front of very technical questions from an investor perspective. How do you make money? And uh, yeah, <laughs> Everybody I'm asks me all the time that question, like, how do you make money, guys? What's your business model? And I'm just like, I'm just being honest. Like, I'm doing this for fun. And I, I'm doing this because I believe in this. And uh, that's something that's so out of, what was Sweet sugar, baby. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, I didn't really drink coffee anyway. So anyway, anyway, yeah, that's a story. So, and how did you, you turn it around because of the event, because of the quality of the event? Yeah. See? This is it. It's super hard. I was talking to actually today and I was telling her that like I have a hard time selling startup brand in China because everybody asks me the question, like how do you make money? Tell them come and over, join the event. Exactly. We like, give them always free tickets for Exactly. This, this is what yeah. everybody needs to do, especially in the cities like Chengdu where you know that you're yeah. gonna do a great event. Very careful though, as a foreigner, it's very hard. What do you yeah. mean? What are the challenges? What are the biggest challenges for you? I reckon yeah. you don't language barrier. Of course, of course. But barrier. but apart from that, like, do you still think that there is anything else, or is it just language? I think also the culture also plays a big role because the way how we deliver a message might be perceived differently. Yeah. And it's the same the other way around, <laughs> right? Like sometimes when Chinese people try to deliver a message to you, yeah. sometimes you don't understand it well. I, you know, that's why I say we need to have a Chinese partner. You know, that's yeah. why I say we need to have uh, both. You know, we don't want to be just another foreign community in China. We want to be. So some, so for example, when we go to meetings. I'm also speaking like Chinese from the first sentence, of course. so they feel immediately comfortable to talk Chinese, you know, and then the, the whole conversation is different. Of course. No, you're doing a really, really awesome job, guys. And like, you have this guy on the team, you know, so yeah. you cannot do Startup Brand as a job. Yeah. It must be somebody who loves it. Mm -hmm. 
and it's part of the nature. So it's not that you're gonna buy a franchise and then you're gonna as a job because it doesn't work. Yeah. Because it would completely ruin the, the brand, it would completely ruin why we're so different. And only so strong because it's independent. Exactly. Yeah. And so I told her that she was like, yeah, of course I understand. And uh, yeah, we'll see, like, guys, like, I'm gonna talk to her, but you are gonna be part of the conversation. Like, you know, if we make this happen, we are, make, we are gonna make it happen together and because of you. So I, wanted, I, wanted, I want you to get the credit for it. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm not the guy that is supposed to get the credit because I'm just here maybe connecting the dots and I'm gonna try to help her with her other stuff so that we can get some leverage. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, it's up to you guys. I just want you to pull. I want this, I want this conference. You know? <laughs> yeah, let's do the conference. Let's do the yeah, conference. Let's make a big impact on Chimboy. Let's let's do the conference. Let's make it big here. So going forward, like how can we invite other speakers? Are we gonna go through the same procedure? Steven didn't have a plan to go to yeah, Chimboy yeah, at this I time. That. So we really wanted to uh, get him here, which means that we needed yeah. to provide a lot of value. Yeah. But let's not do it again because it takes a lot of time, and you cannot do it all the time with yeah, these speakers. So Trevor is my very good friend. So let's just talk to him. Let's figure out the schedule. You know, yeah, let's, uh, you Chengdu. know, maybe he's going to be, you know, like close to Chengdu or maybe he's going to be going to Chengdu. So maybe we can just pay for the flights. You can just get a sponsor to pay for the flights yeah, and that's, that's it. That's no problem. Yes. No. And I'm, of course, I'm going to try to push him anyways. Like I'm going to ask him like, Trevor, could you, we, could you go can to get him a lot of other things in return. We can arrange like really valuable meetings and stuff. Absolutely. Like that, let's do it. Hello. Hey guys. Hello. Hello. Yeah, we are Hi. on. We are on. I know where I am. So, my name is Roy. Roy. Please introduce yourself and tell us what is happening today, what was happening yesterday, and why it is so exciting. So, my name is Roy. Roy Rao. Here comes. Who's this? Eric. Who's this? <laughs> here comes Eric and another uh, rock star, another <laughs> Chengdu startup, startup brand and startup ecosystem rock star. We invited uh, Steve Hoffman to join Startup Brand Chengdu. So last night. Um, Steven Hoffman had an awesome talk uh, about his stories um, and uh, everyone was happy, Chengdu people were happy yes, and amazing. Uh, today we brought Yang and uh, Steven to the Jinrong Startup Hub which is uh, the most popular high tech zone in yeah. Chengdu and uh, did you have a good time? I had an amazing time and actually guys like you're f***ing rock stars because we might actually collaborate with those guys, you know. I'm gonna have some oh, meetings well. afterwards. I'm gonna have some calls. That's what it's all about. And, I mean, you and know? you know, just it's making friendships, making connections, community. and who knows, <laughs> who knows what's oh, gonna happen, right? Oh, so like, it's it's all because of you guys. I'm just super grateful was, to have you on the how team. How was your panda pit? Um, panda pit. Oh my! I don't even want to mention. <laughs> now we are gonna have after party, or what's what's the plan? Yeah, yeah. What's the plan? So after What's party, meeting we're gonna, some we're cool gonna have some, yeah, it's like actually in a, in a small round, you know, just 20, 25 people and then have more inspirational uh, talks, I think. Yeah, that's awesome. So, Amazing. yeah, let's leave some good impressions in Chengdu. And Steve is here, he's helping us. Exactly, it's all because of you guys. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for coming.